Food Chains 94 here, and in today's video, I will be showing you guys how to make a Nathan's Famous. So, um, yeah, so I really like this build that I did here. Um, and I don't know why there's no entrance to the park. Well, I, I was kind of too lazy to do that, but if you guys want to add that, you can. Um, but yeah, we got this pretty modern design going around here. I really like it. I think it looks really nice. Um, and I haven't done this design in a while with the carpet, um, right there. And we got this little airlock system thing right there, which is pretty cool. I haven't really done that. Um, then obviously the pillars, but yeah. And for those of you who don't know, Nathan's Famous is a hot dog place. And I think they did like a, uh, yesterday they did like Nathan's Famous Hot Dog Eating Competition at a baseball game or something. But, yeah. Uh, anyways, um, yeah, so, uh, let's get into the tutorial now. So, if we come back here, uh, to make your Nathan's Famous, you're gonna need a 28 by 31 block grid. Um, and just a friendly reminder, you have to make the grid in order to do this build, else you're not gonna really know what you're doing, so... Yeah. Materials you're going to need for the outside, you're going to need gray concrete, uh, white concrete, grass block, yellow wool, smooth stone, uh, quartz slabs, and oak leaves. By the way, the quartz slab and oak leaves are optional. Um, but yeah, so once you have all that stuff and you have the grid, we can get started. So, first thing you want to do is, uh, there's actually no entrance to the parking lot, so... You want to take white concrete, you want to come to the left side, you want to go up by um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, the white concrete, um, take your yellow wool, do 1, 2, 3 with the yellow wool, and then dig 7 more rows like this, 1, 2, 3 with the yellow wool, 7 white concrete, um, going uh, vertical like that, um, and then, oh, sorry, controller drift is pretty bad, oh my god, what the hell, yeah, this is going all over the place, but, yeah, you just want to do this until, uh, you run out of space, so, I'm actually just going to crouch, it makes it easier, um, but yeah, you just want to do this until you can't really do it anymore. And, uh, yeah. So, just like this. So, um, see we have three rows right here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put quartz slabs right here. And then put leaves in here. Uh, you can do a different design, like a bush or something with flowers in it, but I just decided to go for that. Um, and then inside here, I'm just gonna dig all this grass, um, out and just fill it in with gray concrete. But, I mean, you're gonna want to fill it in with whatever your wood material is, unless you're going for a bit of a contrast or a different wood design. So, yeah. simple. I don't really have much to say here. I don't really have much to talk about, so I'm just going to keep quiet. <laughs> I don't really, I don't know what to say. It's literally just filling in that, but yeah. So, um, once you have that, it should look something like this. Okay. Uh, now what you want to do is, um, 
you want to do, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do four rows of smooth stone, just one, two, three, four rows of smooth stone. Now, if it wasn't for my, uh, controller thrift, um, I would, like, count, I would, like, mark everything out, just, to, just so I could, like, like, I don't know, I just, you just gotta trust me, okay? I'm just gonna do four rows of smooth stone like this, and then we're, we're just gonna do the building, even though it makes it a little bit harder to do the building when it's like this, but yeah, I'm just gonna do that. So just do four rows of smooth stone behind everything you just made. Uh, now we can go ahead and work on the building, so I'm just gonna get rid of all these. Then for the building, you're gonna need white concrete, um, some string, and some yellow carpet, but those two are optional. Uh, black concrete, uh, any kind of glass pane, any kind of glass block to match the glass pane, any kind of door, uh, green concrete, uh, yellow concrete, uh, we already have the white, we already have the black concrete, um, and I believe that might be it. You can see our hot bar is already full, but, um, yeah. Okay. So this building might be a bit tricky. And then for the, um, sorry, for the, um, for the banner letters, you're going to need white banner, you're going to need green dye and white dye. But yeah, so now we can work on the building. So this might be a little bit tricky, so bear with me. So for the building, what you want to do is you want to take your green concrete. Uh, it doesn't matter if you come to the left or the right side. I'm going to come over to the left side. Um, hold on, this is kind of complicated. Uh, okay. So yeah, so take your, uh, take your green concrete, come to either side. So, so not this first row of smooth stone, but the second row do one, two, three, like this. Um, and then just kind of make like a three by three three square, um, leave the middle alone for now, um, and then you want to do, um, black concrete, whoops, like this, see, where it's kind of poking out like that, okay, and then you want to go up by, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so you want to go up by eight rows with your, uh, green concrete, Okay, so take your green concrete, right, and then you want to go up by eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whoops, seven, eight, like that. Then you want to do this for all of your green concrete. Alright, and don't connect them, just for now, just go up by eight. Uh, we'll worry um, about connecting them a second here. Alright. And then, for when you connect them, you actually want to connect them down by two rows, and you'll see why a little bit later. But, yeah, for now, just uh, connect them down by two rows, like that. And then inside, you want to fill it in with black concrete, and that's kind of that, um, kind of gives the pillar that nice little effect right there. Um, and then we can go ahead and do the same thing on the opposite side. So, oh, oh a cave sound. Um, but yeah, there, there was a cave sound. Okay, so now, literally, you just want to do the same thing on the opposite side. I'm not really going to explain this, because just go back, just, um, go back a little bit in the video, and just apply the same thing, but on this, uh, opposite side. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, whoops, six, seven, eight. And the reason I said, oh, a cave sound is because bronze gaming... He wanted me to say that whenever there was a cave sound, so I went ahead and did that. But yeah. Ooh, a cave sound. Oh, and then actually you just wanna do this. Um, yeah. And we won't do the back pillars right now, I think we'll wait to do those. But yeah, so those are the front pillars that you wanna do for those. Okay. And then uh let's see, four okay. Yep, okay, so then what you want to do is you want to take your, uh, white concrete, and you want to, um, 
so like so like right here so like diagonal from this pillar right here you just want to do white concrete in here like this you want to come to the left side of your white concrete you want to do what uh, white concrete black concrete gap it to black gap it to black and then a white concrete in the end and then do the same thing going from right to left so white concrete black concrete gap to black gap to black black concrete and then white concrete like that okay and then um just raise all these up um not not like these ones but like I'm sure you guys know what i mean like these ones that we just um tampered with and then take your white concrete and just and then you can actually go ahead and destroy this white concrete inside and then come um outwards diagonal you want to go um out by one two three yeah just three okay same thing right here one two three okay uh you want to raise up these kind of um walls so it's as high as this one um and then i'd recommend also um filling that in with whatever your inside material is put some doors in here um some glass block up here and then some white concrete up there and that's kind of that um uh, airlock and i kind of made it um as far out as the pillars just to give it some depth so that's kind of what that is and then you can go ahead and uh, fill in these front windows here like so right okay just like this all right uh, and then this is optional you can take your string and then just kind of put string right here and then just put yellow carpet here it kind of goes with some of the Nathan's famous branding or you can make it like a yellow and green pattern but I'm just gonna go for the yellow okay and then um, oh, oh my god um, alright and then what you want to do is you want to take uh, green concrete or before we do that actually fill in this little airlock area just the airlock okay just like that anyways now what you want to do take your green concrete start on this left side um, and then just run five rows of green up here so that's one that's two that's three four and five rows of the green concrete like that okay and then uh, you want to um, take green concrete you want to stay with your green concrete kind of come out like this and follow it around the pillar and just make it go as far as the pillar goes here just like this and same on this side and um, that's why we did two rows because it, it covers up this as well just like that okay uh, all right. and then uh, yes Alright, so then what you want to do is you want to take uh, white concrete, um, and so right here, so leave a gap of one from where this thing comes out, then here you just want to run white concrete like this, okay? But then what you want to do is you want to, um, there's another cave sound, you want to come to this left side and see where this middle black concrete is. You want to um, just do white concrete. Um, starting from these middle black concretes and then to the opposite one from the bottom and then do the same thing on the top like this okay just like that and that's where the sign's gonna go um, and then um, something that really brings us to life is if you take your uh, green concrete and then you um, so you come to this green concrete right here so you guys can see where it is take put place a green con or kind of like place one backwards right here uh extend it up extend it across and place it in the same position so one block away and then right there like that okay and that that's just another um 
that just that just makes it look better and then do yellow concrete in here um, just to get more of the yellow because we are lacking a little bit but yeah so and once you've done that uh, that's pretty much the front of your Nathan's 100% complete All right so now we can uh, go ahead and work on the sides so for the sides um, for starters I'm just gonna um, yeah, so I think, actually, no, 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 I'm not going to do that. So, okay, so, um, and real quick, uh, under here, just go ahead and uh, fill this in with green concrete, like that. All right, and then you can fill these green as well. <sighs> okay, um, okay, now we can go ahead and do the sides. So, Alright, so this might be, this might get a little complicated. Um, Alright, so, um, what you want to do is you want to take white concrete, and you want to go um, all the way back, well not all the way back, you want to actually have a gap of three from the end, okay? And then you want to take um, black concrete, you want to do black concrete, gap of two, black, gap of two, black, gap of two, black, and then, um, let me just make sure, uh, okay, okay, so yeah, so that's good, so, and then just fill the rest in with white concrete, like that, alright, and then, uh, fill this in with, um, black stained glass, or, well, any, any glass pane you want, um, and then do another row of white on top of here. Like this. Okay. And then, um, let's go ahead and work on the pillar for, er, well, just to get it done, let's, let's just go ahead and do the other side first, and then we'll connect them and then do the pillars. So just, um, again, just literally do the same thing you did on that opposite side. So... I'm not going to explain this part, but you guys can just mirror what you did. Alright, fill in these windows. Oh, and we forgot to do that little uh, thing, didn't we? So, we'll go ahead and do that on both sides as well. So, the string, you want to just go ahead and, you know, put the string on top of here and then just, you know, do your uh, yellow carpet right here. Okay, like that, and then, uh, we can do that on the other side also. So, and then, obviously, again, this is, uh, this is optional. Um, but yeah. Okay, just like that. Um, okay. And now, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and connect these at the back. And actually, I think we'll, yeah, we'll wait to do the pillars. I think that'll just be easier, because it's not that they're tricky, they're just kind of, I don't know. It, it, well, let's just, let's just wait on the pillars for now, and then we'll just do those last. So. Alright, and then just fill in the back, simply with your white concrete. Um, Alright, and now let's do this design here. So just take your green concrete, and literally all you want to do is you just want to wrap your green concrete all the way around again remember five rows of green concrete on top of the white um and yeah and we'll also do that um modern you know yellow concrete design up there so. another one of those things where I don't really have much to talk about. It's just really easy. So, Alright, just do all that. And then that's what you want to have. And then, remember how we have this white concrete? So you want to stick to that. So, if you guys are confused as to where it goes, just literally just... So, like, leave a gap of two. It's perfectly centered. Just do a gap of two. And it's like this. You know? 
Okay, like that. And then um, we can do this as well. Actually, before we do that, let's set a base for this. So there's no gaps. And then we can do this. And then it wants to stop one row away. I knew how to pause the video because there's really no need to show you guys any of this. It's just so easy. So. Okay. All right. Now, what you want to do um, now? Well, now we can uh, go ahead and do the pillars. So, well, the back pillars. That is. So, actually, first things first. Let's. Uh, so, what you want to do? You want to connect this to the building. Literally, connect the pillars. It should be pretty obvious where they connect. They just naturally um, connect to the building like that. Um, and then now we can go ahead and work on the back ones. So the back ones. Um, so, come to this, uh, left side here, um, remember do those little 3x3 three three squares like this, and then black concrete like that, Ex um, extend the screen concrete up, you're gonna have to destroy this corner right here, and then make it as high as this right here, and just kinda follow it around. I mean, if you guys had done the first two pillars, just, just go ahead and go back to that part of the video where I showed you how to do the pillars. It'll just make it easier, because if I have to explain it again, that which, when I already did it, I mean, it just makes the video a little bit longer. So. Okay, and then you just want to, again, connect it to the building like this. Wrap it around here. It connects to the building like that. Okay. Um, and is that right? Something looks a little off. Uh, no, I think. Yep, no, okay, no, that that's right. All right. Maybe I was going crazy. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, and then just do the same thing right here. Um, so the yeah. Okay, so the pillars actually aren't really as hard as they look. even know if they look hard or if it's just me so probably just me but yeah all right and then again do the black concrete and then just wrap it around here and guys uh once you've done that that is pretty much uh your nathan's famous 100 percent complete uh minus the banner letters of course so yeah um, so now I will show you guys how to, you know, place on the banner letters. Hopefully it should be pretty obvious, but, um, yeah. And then you're going to need white dye, or sorry, well yeah, white dye, white banner, and green dye. So, yep, okay. Alright. So, and then all the letters fit in your hot bar, so, uh, once you have all the letters made, we can go ahead and place them. So you want to so come to the left side here. Start from the left side. Do N A T H A N S for Nathan's space F A M O U S. And boom, guys! Once you've done that, there's your uh, Nathan's famous 100% complete. Uh, I really hope you guys you know, enjoyed this tutorial, um, if you did, go ahead and smash a like, um, and, you know, if you didn't, smash a dislike, but, yeah, um, I'll see you guys in the next video, goodbye guys, thanks so much for watching, may the force be with you.